I'm going to share with you how to make tomato, sausage, and bacon pasta with veggies. Enjoy! I will be using fazili pasta, and the reason I'm using it is because it holds sauce really well because of the shape of the pasta. I'll be using sausage and bacon. This is what's going to make the flavor so, so good. I'm going to start by boiling my pasta and let that boil for about 12 to 14 minutes. Depends how you like your pasta to be al dente or more softer, it's totally up to you. And in the meantime, I'm going to prepare my meat and my veggies. I'm going to salt my water a little bit, wait for the pot to boil and I'm going to throw in my pasta. So I'm gonna cut my sausage and peel the skin. Use any sausage that you have in your fridge, whichever one you like, honey garlic, filled with cheese, whatever it is that you use, and it's your favorite. I'm gonna peel it, and the reason I'm peeling it is because it's just much easier to eat. All right, so I peeled my sausage, and now I'm going to boil them. And why I'm gonna do this is because I want to savor the water from sausage and use it for tomato sauce. That's what's gonna make a huge difference in this pasta. Sausage is boiling and we're gonna leave it for about 10 minutes. Let that really boil, let's get the sauces out. Let's carry on. I'm going to chop my bacon and put it aside because we will need it towards the end. Okay, so we're gonna slice our bacon and put it aside. And we're preparing the rest of our ingredients. I have zucchini here, I have red pepper and I have onions. We're gonna chop it up and prep it for our pasta. minutes for it to boil. I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil and set it aside. All right, so I've cut up my zucchini, onions, and red pepper, and my final veggie ingredient is mushroom. I'm gonna slice them up and prep it. All right, our sausage have boiled enough. The key, I'll tell you something. Um, the amount of time it takes for sausage to boil, it's about the same time as your pasta boils. So you could set it the same time. I'm gonna take my sausage out and I'm going to use the water that's left from boiling to make your tomato sauce. vegetables cook for a few minutes. All right, my vegetables are pretty much ready and now I'm going to spice it. Of course, you cannot get away with spices. I'm using this garlic puree. It's a fine, it's a fine. You must have it in your kitchen. Such a great addition to every dish, pretty much every dish. So I'm gonna use a teaspoon, I'm gonna put it all over. I'm gonna put my salt, my Pepper. I'm going to add as well onion powder. So great. Use it to taste. I mean, I love, I love a lot. <laughs> this is what makes the dish so, so good. And let's mix it all together. All right, so my vegetables are ready. And now we're gonna carry on complete our tomato sauce. Now, you could do tomato sauce a little bit differently. You could make your sauce separately and vegetables separately. Put your spices in the sauce. But I do like to spice my vegetables because that makes a difference. Here we go. Remember that water that we left from the sausage. Here it is. I'm gonna add it back. Ooh, that water. <laughs> 
I also reserved one cup of uh, pasta water. I'm gonna put that here as well. And of course, I have here crushed tomatoes. This is what's gonna make this delicious tomato sauce. I'm gonna add, as well add it to my pan and mix it all together. Mm -mm. It smells, oh, when you're cooking, don't you get hungry? I do, I'm so hungry. Let your sauce simmer for just a few minutes. In the meantime, I'm going to chop my sausage and pan fry my bacon. Yeah. All right, our bacon is practically ready. I like my bacon really crispy, but it's going to cook more once I put my sausage as well. So I chopped up my sausage pieces and now I'm gonna add it to my pan. And let that cook a little bit more. All right, so we prepared all our ingredients for our tomato, sausage, bacon, pasta with veggies. And now we have three pans. I have one pot with pasta, I have my tomato sauce, and I have my sausage and bacon. I'm gonna put it all together now. I'm gonna bring this back, the tomato sauce, throw it back, and I'm going to add my bacon and sausage to my tomato sauce. Yep. Reheat my pan. <laughs> Reheat my pan, mix it all together. Okay, so I'm gonna reheat my pan with my sausage, my veggies, my tomato sauce. So, so good. Oh my god, I'm getting so hungry. And now I have my pasta, which I'm going to as well add it to the mix. Try this. This is a really good pasta. Honestly, my, my family just love, love, loves this pasta. It's so much flavor, so delicious. Even my six-year-old, yeah, big spoon. All right, so we reheated our pan, and now I'm going to add my pasta to this and mix it all together. doing the best to clean as I go, but I'm not sure if I'm keeping up. When you cook, just so much dish, so much pans and all this stuff. So we're gonna mix it together, let it simmer for a few minutes and it's done. And our pasta is done. Three key steps. Let's just go over that. Boil your pasta, prepare your sausage and bacon and your tomato sauce with vegetables. Mix it all together, top it with olives and Parmesan cheese, a little chili flakes, and it's done. Okay, add your pasta to your plate. Look how beautiful this looks, I mean, really. And the aroma in the kitchen, you cannot resist, okay? So we, play, we put our pasta on a plate. Now, I'm going to add my olives. You can also cook them with your pasta, but in this particular case, I'm just using Kalamata olives to sprinkle my pasta. Use as much as you like. I'm going to use Parmesan cheese. Okay. And just to have a little fun and a little spice, I'm going to use chili flakes. Our pasta is ready. And of course, as always, I'm going to try it and see what it tastes like. Where do I go first? I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go for the little piece of pasta. I wanna <laughs> chew on camera too much. All right. It's so good. It is that good. Let me have some more. Oh, the sausage, the big, mm, 
bacon, world of a difference. Let me keep eating this. <laughs> yes, it is not good. 